As expected, the queue was massive even before the front doors opened this morning as people take their final chance to visit. 4,000 visitors are anticipated today alone and I've been speaking to some about what the site means to them. This was the children's playground when they were all growing up so we used to pop across here any moment that we had. So I've got lots of lovely memories of them running around as toddlers on this grass. Quite sad because um, this place is really amazing and it's just really fun to be here. We'll be sad to see this place go such an iconic Bristol landmark, the zoo. End of. <laughs> Pippa is one of hundreds of volunteers at the zoo. Coming back to the zoo now, I've got fond memories of, of coming as a young child. I've got fond memories of coming when I was a student, and now I've got fond memories of coming with my own children. This morning when I was coming in, I was thinking, it's really, really a sad day for me. It's my last day of volunteering here today, um, and I'm going to make most of it. So I'm going to go, going to go back to those gardens. I'm going to take some pictures of the gardens. I'm going to take as many. I've even taken a picture of the corridor coming in here and just remembering it. But hopefully there'll be lots of happy people coming in today um, who will have memories to pass on to their children. When I think of Bristol, I think like at Bristol, the zoo, and then like the bridge. Those are the three things that come to mind. So, like, it's like one of the core parts of Bristol's going. Everyone here today and who comes later this week is here not just to see the animals, but to reminisce. On all these ribbons you can see behind me, people have written their favourite memories of the site. And when it closes on Saturday, they'll all go into the zoo's archives. There's no getting away from the fact that this week is a moment in Bristol's history.